Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random action figures and novelties. Before we get on to our new figure, we're going to look at all four of our little novelty things. First on the list, we got this Spiral McDonald's thing. I found this for free. It's a memory card matching game. Instead of Spiral, you got Crash in here. So we are reviewing some video game related stuff here. But yeah, I'm not going to bother opening it. The spiral container and box is pretty cool. So I'm definitely keeping this. And I messed around with this at camp. It was a fun little game. But now I go put it on the shelf. Why not? Dare I say why not? Next on the list, we got this thing inside a thing. Little... Wendy's toy. I have not reviewed this. But there are several to collect. A little robot. Monster. Monster. Alien. And so forth. But I only have the one of these. It was a friend of the family that got me this. And I was so thinking that was so fun and neat. But yeah. It's a little octopus. So... First, we're going to open up, it's like one of those nesting dolls, so we're going to open this up, show what else is inside. Ooh, we got a pirate, yarg, and a treasure chest, ooh, is there gold inside that treasure chest? Yeah, there's a doubloon in there, yarg, and it splits into three different characters. Two different characters. Look at that. That's fun. That's kind of fun looking. And to put this thing back together is real simple. First, pull off the Kraken. Head. Put the pirate in the middle. Treasure chest, middle. Pirate head back on top of the chest. in the middle of the Kraken, and then it's ready to go back in the box. But this is one fun little mystery surprise. I love those types of toys. They're a little bit fun by my standard. Why not? Dare I say why not? Next on the list, we got my first ever DC Wonder Woman for my Justice League collection. Wonder Woman! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Wonder Woman. Yeah, because she's the warrior of Themyscira, and she's got her lasso of truth, her armbands, her head, and this custom sword that I created just for Wonder Woman to hold. Take this, bad guy. I've got my lasso of truth and my sword, and you better beware. I'm coming for you, Luthor. Yeah. <laughs> Articulation, pretty good. And I just dropped her sword, which was my bad. <laughs> sword does not want to stay in her hand very well. Got some elbow. Articulation is pretty good. Head is not on a ball joint. Hinge joints, really good. Knee joint. So some movement in this great looking figure. And I'll be so glad to add this to my collection of DC action figures. And you know, DC was more than just a cartoon series. It was also a movie series and video games were made of it. They just made a new DC game as well, which is pretty cool. Next on the list is my first action figure of Princess Daisy from Mario. Yay! I say, yay. Articulation on this figure. I have a plush of her, but now I have an action figure. So happy. 
Legs don't move, but they do do that r spinny thing. No knee bends. But otherwise, a good looking figure, and I'm so glad to add her to my Mario collection. Because Princess Daisy is pretty cute next to Princess Peach and her other sister. But now we're going to review the figure I've been most wanting to review based on the 1980s video game. I mean, tactics game and also a video game. We got a McFarlane Space Marine Warhammer 4000 figure. Got some nice artwork on the box. Love that. More artwork. He's got his jetpack and gun. He can dual wield a gun, but I'm afraid of breaking him. And he's real tight on my copy, and I'm afraid of breaking him. I definitely need a lot more time to loosen up his joints, though. And he usually drops his gun. But yeah. He's got a jetpack. He's got some pouches for ammo or whatever. A nice product shot of him. Love this figure. Hands down. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. To install the jetpack on this figure is very simple. See this little peg right here? You're going to put that in like so and now he's ready to do some battle his articulation is pretty good elbows joints move that far move around pretty good he's got some good knee bend love that really good and sculpted and the knee bends are pretty good if i do say so myself And we can get him holding the blaster in the other hand if we wanted to, but I'm afraid I'm going to break this guy. Maybe we can get him to hold it, because it looks like I just loosened him up a bit. <laughs> Which is a first. But yeah, we can get him dual wielding this gun. And he's ready to take on the orcs. And his head is not on a ball joint, but it does do a full turnaround. And go like, take this, orcs. Pew, 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 pew. Really cool video game action figure. And he comes with a nice stand. Look at that. It says Warhammer Space Marine. I mean, Warhammer 4000. And this is just cool. If you want to get them on the stand, you just peg this peg right here, there. If you can get the stand to connect, it can hold this guy up. Pretty good. An awesome action figure. And I'm so glad to finally own this in my collection. I have been wanting one of these since forever, and McFarlane did a good job on making these guys. I played the first Warhammer video game, but I didn't get very far at it. But a very fun game, a very cool action figure based on the tactics game and the video game, and I just love that. But now we're going to get down to comparison. Here is our McFarlane Warhammer 1000 Space Marine next to another video game figure I own and love. This is the Gears of War Judgment Baird. And we'll bring in the other video game figures. I only other video game figure I have for comparison. Here she is next to a kitty video game character like Princess Daisy. 
And that's all the video game comparisons I have for it's close enough to that size scale. We will bring in some others like Minecraft and Street Fighter. And uh, Roblox. Here is a Minecraft action figure next to that one. Not bad for a good comparison if I do say so myself. One of my girls from Street Fighter. She's smaller than the McFarlane Space Marine. A Roblox cowboy with some dynamite. Why not? And that's all the comparisons I have to compare this with. Is a McFarlane Warhammer Space Marine worth adding to your collection? Well, I think so. If you love video games, you love shooting games, then this guy is definitely awesome looking. And he will look good in your collection of video game action figures. If I get another figure from this line, it'll probably be an orc. But other than that, I'm not going to go deep into the Space Marine collecting. But I will keep this guy for a long time. He's awesome. But he does have a moving little wings with the jetpacks and go like whoosh into the sky. And I just love that. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out YouTube land.